Hey everybody. The question today is, do I deserve love? Now, sometimes I get questions, and this is one of those questions, where it seems like such a, a no-brainer that I want to go, do you deserve love? Yes, next question. You know, it's one of those, but I know that there's more to it. And I know that there's more to it because this question, do I deserve love, comes up over and over and over again for people. It's something that I get asked in one flavor or another. I mean, the wording changes sometimes and stuff like that, but it's a question that comes up a lot. Do I deserve love? And yes, my knee-jerk answer is, of course you do. But it's worth digging in a little bit deeper. I know that just saying yes, of course you do isn't always a very satisfying answer. People say, well, do I deserve love because I've done these things that I'm embarrassed about or things that I regret, that kind of a thing. I've got some amends to make. Okay, I get that. Or people say, I was raised with the idea that I was an inconvenience and that I'm no good and, and, and those kinds of things, that I'm less than somehow. I walked away from my childhood with that idea in mind for whatever reason. So do I really deserve love? And... I understand all of that, I profoundly understand all of that, and I want you to know that you're not alone if you have those feelings. There's a lot of people who feel that way, and the same thing that's true for them is true for you. The answer is, of course you do. Somebody who made you feel like you were less than lied to you. I don't know why they did it. There's a lot of reasons, and you know what? It doesn't matter why they did it. You can get with somebody and explore all the things. You can do archaeology into why they did the things that they did and why you feel the way that you do, and all of that is 100% valid, but that's not uh, what I'm here to talk to you about. No matter what happened in the past, no matter what you did or what was done to you, the truth about you is still the truth about you. Now look, I happen to believe that you are made in the image and after the likeness of God. And that means everything that you think it means. Now, if you can't go there with me as part of your faith claim and all that, let me just say it this way for starters, and we'll build on it later on. You're made out of the same stuff as every hero you ever had, every great person in history. You've got the same mind and the same heart and the same body and the same everything that you need to be just as great as them. You have the same potential. So do you deserve love? Well, do they? Think about the person who you love the most and realize that you're no different from them. You deserve the same things that they deserve. And look, I'll put it this way. I recognize that maybe you've got some amends to make. Maybe you've got some growing to do. Maybe you need to ask for some forgiveness. Maybe you need to fix some things. But I'll tell you what I know for sure. You cannot even begin to fix what needs to be fixed until you recognize your potential. If you think that you are no good or a miserable sinner or worthless or whatever version of that garbage you want to put on yourself, if you really think that, then you're never going to grow. You're never going to get to that place of forgiveness and justice and, and making amends because you won't think you deserve it. So you're never going to go there. It's never going to get better. But when you realize, you know what? I'm better than that, that whatever it was, that old version of you. You know what? Maybe you messed up. Lots of people do. I have a history of doing goofy things in my past. And I'll probably do goofy things tomorrow too. But I hope that I'll learn from those things because the thing I know about myself is that I'm better than my last goofy action. And so are you. Do you deserve love? Of course you do. Because you are made out of wonder and beauty. And yeah, you know what? You've messed up here and there. But when you know who you are, you can begin to fix it. And yes, you should fix it. As I'm recording this, we're coming into the holidays, and this is a great time for forgiveness. This is a great time to get past something. We're looking down the barrel of a new year, and it's going to be a lot better than the last year, for sure. And one of the reasons it's going to get better is people like you and me, remembering that they deserve truth and justice and victory and healing and overcoming and love. Do you deserve love? Of course you do. But until you know it, things aren't going to get better. So if that's hard for you to hear, let me just say this. Try it. Just try it. 
It's okay if you can't jump in with both feet. It's okay if you can't believe it 100% right now, but just try it on for a minute. Recognize that the only thing different from you and any hero you ever had is they had a moment where they said, you know what? We deserve better answers. And so the hero stands up and says, no more of this oppression, this whatever it is. We deserve justice. We deserve peace. We deserve truth. We deserve love. You can be just like that. And in fact, in your heart, you already are. So stand up for something. Let yourself be loved just a little bit, even if it's hard. In fact, because it's hard. And amazing things will happen. You deserve it. And our world deserves you being it. So let's get down to work, guys. Thanks for sending in the questions. Keep them coming. You know how to do it. But the thing I want to remind you is the most important thing you can do is share these videos. If you like what you're hearing, if you want it to continue, go hit that share button. Share this with somebody. Send an email. Put it on Facebook. You know what to do. And it means all the world to me. So please keep on keeping on. You got this.